Don't mind me, I'm grabbing a joint. seconds folks That's good to know. Hmm. Oh. The f oh, one of you bastards. I know how to handle you. Hi, Mr. Robot.
Ah, did not want to do that. There we go. That asshole. Ooh, excuse me. Didn't fucking think so. Shit. <clears throat> Ow. Damn, I'm digging the music. Hee <laughs> hee. Hate these doors. <clears throat> what? Son of a bitch, seriously? Oh, fuck my life. about that. Gonna run around them. Attention employees who have recently been in contact with your blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for emergency checkup. Thirty. Attention employees who have recently been in contact with your blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for emergency checkup.
easy enough. Ow. understood what that was for.
Son of a bitch. Oh, hey, Sunny Cat. Huh. Well, that's good. He deserves to be fired. Sorry, dude. I'm focusing more on Atomic Heart. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Damn. Shit. It really is Petrov. Ah, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard? Wizard okay. Here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. The hell? Kinda. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, wait a minute. I think...
All right. Where is that? or something. There we go. No. Doesn't work.
Ouch. Quest filled. Comrade Zakrevchenko. I horribly butcher that, I'm sure. Why do all your VOV A6 robots keep disappearing to in, large, in such large numbers? They're constantly either malfunctioning or just vanishing. Needless to say, I've got in touch with Pavlov Complex, and they're going to send us some more units. Get your Pelican loaders ready for a new shipment tomorrow. And sort out these disappearing Vovas. Keep an eye on your equipment inventory. You've been warned. Okay, comrade. Access granted. Please select the desired procedure. the desired procedure. The door's locked. We won't be able to open it without power. Don't say. Comrades, 
Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. Hmm. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. those balls. So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. <clears throat> We've talked about this a hundred times and you Spoken still like don't a believe true me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. You'll never be truly equal, comrade. Not in this utopia. Can you hear them? Scurrying around. I'm scared. I'm really scared of them. Scared of what? Kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. Some crazy shit.
problem. Will it be major? Weapons or ability? Wait. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code. get that other that saw whatever that was Internal PEC-4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. Canister? All right. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters.
Birch Tree, the symbol of the Vavilov complex and the capstone of its research efforts. Thanks to the power of the polymers and the joint effort of the complex's many workshops, this tree can thrive in a wide range of climates while simultaneously purifying the surrounding air. It can also produce electricity. To demonstrate this, Vavilov's engineers have plugged the PEG bore into the complex's power grid. As they are more than happy to point out, a whole wing of the facility is now running entirely on birch power. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war, and Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Yeah, of course. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Hmm. It's only gonna possibly mutate you. Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. What do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together <laughs> forever. Don't hold your breath. So... Why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stutt. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? Still insufficient resources. second guys I'll be AFK for a bit
All right, I am back. I'm going to take... So I forgot I hadn't really eaten anything since lunch. I must say, I'm really digging this game a lot. What is that? Adrenaline cow. Oh! Mmm. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get some food in me. Whew. Okay, pop open the sparkling ice. And then I'll be ready to rock and roll. Oh, shit, I should look at the map. Mm. 
Actually, I don't think that's available yet. <clears throat> nope, not yet. Oh, what was that? I thought I heard something behind me. Okay, so we gotta get to the boiler room. The hot workshop for Thermarium is one of the Babylon complexes. Or so they're hoping. Coloradans? Am I saying that right? I don't know. Experiments were a success. Working together, although we did more, of course, teams from Vavlov and Pavlov have bred a new species of Colorado potato beetle. E. It's our way of fighting fire with fire. That's what we call them as, by the way, fire beetles. <laughs> That's cute. New parasite only eats harmful plants such as ragweed, slumpweed, wormwood, and hemlock. Last one is personal. It killed my dog. Due to the toxic substances in the beetle, birds won't eat it and introduce it. Introducing it will not harm the ecosystem. In addition, the beetles cannot reproduce and will die after a season. This means we no longer need or pesticide, no longer need pesticides or other harmful substances. One parasite eats another. Isn't it neat? Our own factory. I have nothing but respect for the Chech Furniture Factory, but I've got a great idea. Let's use Vavlov's facilities to make our own. We've been getting a lot of prisoners lately, and they, they're they all reasonably competent. Plus, they're always recycling all kinds of pine trees and birch trees that didn't pass inspection. Stuff like that. As office manager, it pains me to see this. Maybe it just seems like ex excess lumber to you scientists, but to me, it's wasted potential. The Operation Amazon. Document preparation. A crisis is currently underway in the Amazon region, thanks to the capitalist industrial sloppiness. Mm -hmm. The Amazon rainforest is dying off at a terrifying rate. Comrade Vavlov has ordered me to assemble a committee to solve the problem. Right now, we are suggesting that fast-growing tropical trees with more durable root structures are designed. The more important part of this project is its secrecy. We usually love bragging to the entire world about helping underdeveloped countries, but we need to avert this particular disaster without a lot of bluster. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another one of those crazy doors. <sighs> there we go. Whew! God, these ones make me nervous. You have to have, like, 
cat-like reflexes. So I take, was this like a door? Was I through this area? Oh, it's back down here. Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system or excessive polymer fertilizer production. I use that though. <laughs> Creepy ass door. That is creepy. That is really creepy. Oh, can't get in through that side, eh? Alright. I guess we have what we wanted here. We got bats, yo! We got bats! kill that guy. Alright, I thought I would have predicted his pattern by now. Oh, hi. Ah, uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. Uh, okay, I'll deal with it. Ooh, chopped your head off, bitch. Boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. 
It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Oh, it's matter, you can't reach me. Got an axe to the back. I should have enough to for that one weapon now. Okay, I found the opening. Ooh, what do we got here? New files. On the name of new plants. Who cares about Martian potatoes or moon wheat? You're coming up with really boring names. Trust me, it matters. What if we fly off to another solar system like Aldebaran or whatever? I don't know. I'm no expert on that stuff. And we plant our magnificent non-picky sunflower on a planet there. But then turns out it's not a sunflower at all. Because there's no sun. So now it's an Aldebaran flower. Think about that. And we should think about blueberries too since they won't even be blue on Mars. We could call them red berries, but that's no good. And pink berries just sounds weird to me. Pulled the plug. Vavlov pulled the plug on my project. He said it was illogical and favored form over substance. Can you believe that? If we make sprouts, why do we have a breed regular cold resistance or heat resistance plants? If we want to settle new worlds, maybe we should create new plants there. Look, I love our Russian birch forests, but I say fly fly to say Cuba I want to see palm trees and reeds you know something new we shouldn't grow fucking fucking apple trees on Mars we should grow flaming Martian beehive cacti or stalks of electric wheat we've got the chance to make a new world unlike any other and we're growing cabbage give me a break how the fuck are you gonna eat electric wheat or you know like beehive cacti commies on sprouts. Please read this carefully. It is not a joke. Yesterday, while disposing of organic waste, I deposited several carcasses of pigs that had expired during experiments into the sprout breeding chamber. We checked the recordings again today to see where the vulvas has, have been going, and I discovered that the pigs had gotten up, walking around the chamber, and even tried to get outside. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, the carcasses had been eaten. There may be something we don't know about the sprouts. I insist that we study this incident. Sorry, pal, but I just need it more. You get it, right? You're a machine, so I need it more. What's your lot in life? 
serve humans, right? Well, I used to serve folks, too. I served in Kursk, and I served in Berlin. I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality, so everybody could have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. Mmm. Mmm, this strawberry watermelon's not bad. Mmm. Like that. So where is there an opening? There's got to be another I do now lug this shit to the boiler myself okay so where are the openings
It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. All set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing <laughs> this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Mm. That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so. I think I Please can finally make the desired that. procedure. I think I can finally get that one weapon. Yep. Oh, I can make it MP2. We're going to do that. Oh, cool. I could. St Wait, really? I could still make. Okay, never mind. That's what I thought. I 
I mean that that axe is pretty cool, but I got I want some guns. Does not say what this is? That's the, uh, I think that's for the uh, handgun. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename Pete. There's no way I oh. Think I can hop up there, I think. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform oh. Mars. Try this thing out.
canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Another tape. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and be a steel worker. Eh? Perhaps shit. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. And Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Then he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack up. Don't give a goddamn about no. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the <laughs> fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Comrade Major! He ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come in for it to me, Bob. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky-dory. And if someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. <laughs> Thermal power connector connected. There we go. Look at her bloom. Chronos trigger. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Crazy shit. Holy shit! Mutants! More of those bastards. Ooh, chopped your head off, bitch.
heard about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. They even took a whole tank of PA-400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. Ah, it should be fine if they keep spraying it. Oh boy. Gonna have some company. Yup. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Oh my god, hi. Oh, hi. You're dead. Ouch. Motherfucker tried to poison me. of you are there okay that's kind of weird how the blood just forms like that I don't think that's I don't think the gore effects is nearly as good as um, dying light 2 just just one slight slight gripe Say there's something in here. Is this a glitch? Oh, another one of these things. Dietary polymer. Are you the one who wrote this on the bulletin board? Polymer technology obviously has lots of applications from programmable systems to durable alloys, but there's one field that hasn't been explored at, our, at all by our research, and I think it should be dietary polymer, or more exactly, polymer-based nutrition carriers. Imagine a kind of bar or two containing dietary components integrated into polymer structure. You could create perfectly balanced food that never spoils, even outside the refrigerator promotes regularity, boosts the metabolism, and a whole lot more. Soldiers, sailors, tourists, and of course, cosmonauts would have all their problems related to not just eating, but also transporting large quantities of food solved forever. If you wrote this, please contact me immediately. I have something I would like to discuss with you. 
Lunar soil success. Dear comrades, I'd like to call your attention to the fact that our work here has borne fruit, literally. Our experiments related to growing seeds in lunar soil in conditions approaching a hypothetical lunar greenhouse have been a stunning success. Unfortunately, given the importance of great promise of this work, we still can't share our results. <laughs> Go figure. Even with the members of the team. But you will all learn about the contribution you have made to science very soon. Thank you again for laboring for the future of humanity, comrades. Urgent. All the results of our experiment cultivating seeds in lunar soil are to be made secret. And all samples, except for one, are to be destroyed. Discussing or documenting what grew from the seeds during the experiment is prohibited. Isolated samples are to receive red tree stat status and be transported to the Academy of Consequences in a sealed polymer container. Come. Yes, we will le most likely have to think long and hard about what we really know about our satellites. All right, BRB. All right, I'm back. Time to spark another joint. My God. So far, I'd say this game is living up to its expectations. I mean, man, the combat flows smoothly. 
It's like the only problem I had was with the, uh... Like that roundhouse swing with the axe that I... Uh, that power attack. For some reason, I couldn't access... I don't know why my, um... Regular melee attacks were not working. I tried pressing the uh, R2 button. Mm, jointy joint, good. <coughs> Looks like I have quite a bit of um, handgun ammo, or MP ammo, as they call it. It's called the handgun in this game. I can't wait to get that AK, though. And the railgun. Oh my god. Or whatever that one melee weapon is that I like to call it the chainsaw mace. Or the buzzsaw mace. Alright. Oh, PM ammo. For the MP. Hmm. Oh, I can even move it to Nora. That's cool. That's got to be a glitch, because I don't know why that's not working. Guess it's back here. Oh, hi. Damn! Whoa, that was crazy. Get in line, you sons of bitches. Bitch. Hey! Hey! Can you can you finish me off, please? What the J <laughs> what? just wait for a medic, okay? facility has gone tits up and who knows when the rescue team are going to be here but i'm hurting right now i'll never walk again anyway uh, what what makes you think the whole place has gone tits up if this happened in babylon alone people from other complexes would be here already it's happening everywhere isn't it obvious Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. 
A lot. <laughs> Dude, you're dead. You're like dead, dead. That's just your memories talking. That is like so fucked up that be the fucking polymer can do that. Hey! Hey! Oh, I've already... can you... What? Bruh, j just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility. What's this? Oh, I could just hold down square. Ah, cool, cool. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Let's try this again. It's weird.
Here we go. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. new oh I got the blueprint to dynamo now cool please select the desired procedure Resources for that. Well, shit. I'm not sure if I want to start upgrading my guns or if I want to save up because I know I'm going to need I think that's synthetic material yeah I'm going to need to get more synthetic material if I want to get that um what is it the box authorization Major Nichayev. Damn. Enough neuropolymer, that's good. Alright, so I got shock up there for now. Frostbite. Please Shit. select the desired procedure. to have what's this energy management I already have ah uh, it's blocked off because I don't think I, I think it's because I don't have enough neuropolymer yeah why not I'm trying to tell, is that right and left on the D-pad or on the analog stick? Or is that like, that's not R3.
substance is kept in a transitional state to be turned into polymer upon request. The resulting luminopolymer has many useful applications, such as helping diagnose malignant tumors, identifying internal bleeding during surgery, visualizing the growth uh -oh. of So I'm supposed to go out there. Wish me luck, y'all. Holy shit. Oh, they've evolved. It feels like they've evolved. Oh my god. the canister might be. A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. The fuck? Why oh, does this stuff hurt? Does this stuff hurt you? Oh, this is so freaky.
There's no canister here. I'm sure we can find one here somewhere. We found the dispenser. Now we gotta find a goddamn canister. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. We still don't have enough resources for... Wait a minute. Oh, I need metal parts, right? Yeah. So I need... 18? No, 17.
Yeah. Where's the option to sprint? I, can you even sprint in this game? Will this canister work? Judging from its shape and diameter, indeed. Synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Be careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. <laughs> Chucky. that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. 
Great, what's gonna happen? That's what I wanna know. We got company, guys. saw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. these puzzles. Ow!
Oh, interesting. Here we go again.
Okay. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> so I've been using the one that actually. Fuck, I can't remember. I'll. I'll. It's an M4, but it's uh, it's in the pro class. It's like the Warrior's Bane. This that one's, one's called a good. KV broadside. And then my fuck, I think I'm using my Lockwood, but I'm using one of my pro ones on that one. The mini, the mini bank, yeah, it's the mini bank. Oh, uh, mini bank, yeah. It's like one of my favorite SMGs. Nothing to upload. What the fuck? Yeah, it's nothing to upload yet. I gotta grab the thing. Oh, I'll say, I got really excited, dude. Almost there. Yeah, you know, while we do that. I almost broke my legs getting away clean, but I'm almost there. <laughs> That's not good. They're not they're not real legs. <laughs> if we hit this exit, it's gonna be kinda close by the uh, weapons cache. That's the closest one that we've got. <clears throat> Cause the other ones are very, very, very far behind. It's over by the observatory. Oh no, these guys. Oh shit. Just two more kills, Jesse, and you're good to go on that first part of your mission. Who had the airstrike? Where is this fucking thing? It's gotta be over here. There be. Oh, let's see if I guessed right. Nothing to upload. Fuck. Oh, it's there it is. There. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Wow, that was far away. Expect parachute to it. It's not like it's a small fucking map, like you know Ashika, where I can really yeah. do it in one swoop. <laughs> Shit! Now we're dealing with bots that can shoot laser beams. Awesome. That's Russia for you, Biatch! Yep! Yep! These you Soviets aren't fucking team. around. Nice and slow, bitch. Nice. Can I get down from here? Wait. I got to break a window and kill a guy. This Eat guy's that. got his headphones on. I'm gonna walk right by him. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like, surprise, yeah, he was motherfucker! He singing a song and shit. He's like, da, 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 da. Oh, I <laughs> like, found a what? tunnel! We can let him live. I found a tunnel. I'm gonna let him listen to his music and smoke that cigarette. Cause you know what? He's working hard for the working man. I got a bonus self revive. Fuck half the time. Oh, Jesus, like that's what I did today. I just listened. That's fine as long as you don't have to give nobody instructions. Nope. I just made some clam You're chowder and some thing. other shit. I was just doing my thing. I was like, fuck all y'all. Found some something pleasant, something it's mood like, setting for your meal that you're cooking, something New England. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> put, out, put out a little Dickens. <laughs> Look, I did. I made a batch of clam chowder, brought some. Ooh, out. yummy. Made some other shit because we were running low, and I was like, oh, yeah, not for nothing. You can, clam chowder, you got to make a bunch of it in case you sell a lot of it. Then it's like, if you don't oh, sell dude. it all, it doesn't keep that long. Like, Especially when you're putting fresh clam chowder and you can just oh, look yeah, up dude. more. It mm. fucking sells out so quick, man. How long does it take for you to make a, a like, I'm assuming you're making like a big, a big tall pot of it. it. Takes me about an hour and a half. It's pretty damn quick. Yeah, I got it down to a fucking science. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah. You should send me a picture of that. Mmm. I will, man. I got some in my hat when I when I warm it up. I will. You should. I got you know what's funny? No matter shit. no matter how high end you could make a clam chowder, you still put them little oyster crackers in there. Oh hell yeah, dude! We <laughs> make them fresh. Oh, no those oyster crackers are the best. They can yeah, come from uh, a diner or from Gordon Ramsay. You like, still put them little oyster crackers. Yeah, in like them, my but... boss ended up making them just for that. Mm. She's like, I want to make. Your boss fucking made them. Crackers. Yeah, homemade. Oh Ooh, yum! Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, old. homemade oyster crackers? Yeah, they're gluten free. <gasps> oh, Ooh! I try it. 
Why can some people not eat gluten? What is that whole thing? That wasn't a thing when I was a kid. It's like celiac disease. Celiac they call it. disease. Yep. It's all fucked up. Yeah, it's my mom. How many my mom is. Have that? It's called bad parenting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, there's shit. a lot of homies over here. Did I just? Die? Oh my god, what just happened? I just got shot down by somebody. I don't know what. I don't know who. I'm gonna go into this building where Sunny is. I don't know what the fuck just happened. But yeah, my mom is, um, gluten-sensitive. Uh, yeah, I'm so. a little fucked. But is that something, like, genetic, or does it, like, develop? I think it's developed because my mom never really had a problem with gluten until not too long ago. They got me. Where the fuck are we Gotta going? Gotta use this. Fuck, I really don't want to use this stim pistol. Sonny's right on you. I'm right behind right, there's you. There's an armor dude here, though. Oh, you went for the weapon? Did you go for the weapon? No, we're not. No, no, I didn't. As I say, the I'm just trying to make it through the, the hydroelectric. Um, I can't hop up there? What the fuck? Oh, there fuck, we fuck, go. Fuck. Yo. I just what died the two fuck? Self I just kits. got shot with an RPG. This guy, this little bendy with an RPG. Somebody did, did that to me yesterday. I was like, "Fuck you." See, see, folks playing at home. That's what happens when I get greedy, because I could have just revived myself. But I, the thing is, if you have revive kits and revive pistols, no matter what, if the pistol is equipped, you're using that first, which sucks. You should use what you have more of first, in my view, but I don't know if the game is that smart, which it isn't, because I know it's not. Because I could have, I would have been fine with using one of two self-revive kits, even though that meant I couldn't drop the extra one, one of them on the helicopter later, right? But I only have one self revive kit, and they're hard, or gun, and they're hard to come by, so I didn't want to use that yet. That's how they get you. Ooh, what is this? That's just a charm. Looks like a box of ammo. There we go. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. Which means she's Got probably a good guy. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, did I do it right? Yeah, I don't know why these AFAC things are getting hard to find all of a sudden. Are you even going the right way? Does anybody need a gun? I got mad guns. I want to kill somebody and take it off of them. I need that. That's what I need. Do you want a starter gun? Because I got, you know, some Vaznicks. I got Vels. I got Tax. I got Rals. Oh, it's fine. Oh, shit. That's what I, I was going to do. Sniper try. rifles and assault rifles and a hurricane and a cast off and Ooh. shotguns. What do you like? I, can't do anything you like. I got 17 dead people's guns. That's what I was going to check. And I didn't you like the them. merchant for Resident Evil 2. My ah, guns come with other people's fingerprints on them, Chef. <laughs> Fuck. I was going to check that shit and I did it. That should make a gun cost more if it comes uh, preloaded with other people's uh, fingerprints. I need to hit that resurgence map hard to finish like what I need to before like the next two finish, next two drop. Oh, that yeah. was a close call. Sunny cat, I'm more worried about finding ammo for my good guns than picking up shitty guns along the way. That's cool looking. Bushido! Sub Zero. Sub Zero. That was funny yesterday. Rain. You're just like. <laughs> Scorpion. That is a pretty badass skin, not gonna lie. Reptile. There turned out to be a lot of ninjas, man. Yeah. Originally, it was just. 
Scorpion and Sub Zero. Then they had Reptile yep. as a hidden Reptile, character. Reptile, and then, then yeah, but then they added Ermac. Like, I think oh, like yeah, by Ermac the third game. Exactly mm -hmm. After uh, was the Ermac originally human? I believe he was. I think he was. Because there was Ermac, there was Smoke, there was Rain. Smoke, yep. Rain was oh, one of my Oh, Rain! Favorite. He was the purple one, wasn't he? Yeah, he looked cool. Yeah. Oh, man. But then, then, they, then they had the three robots. Uh, oh, Cyrax, Cyrax and... Uh, uh, Cyrax... Uh, Cyr I thought they made Ermac into a robot. They did... Or no, they made uh, Smoke into a robot. That's correct, Sonny. Mm -hmm. Oh, they made Smoke into a robot? Mm -hmm. I kind of remember that. Yeah. That's gay. Smoke was cool. Yeah, Cyrax was my favorite of the robots. I like the, uh, those... Ball, I couldn't stand balls. the robots. I couldn't <laughs> stand the concept of the robots being a Mortal Kombat, and they were way too OP. Yeah, <laughs> it it would get annoying when like you'd have Cyrax like dropping his fucking, fucking explosive balls and stuff like shit. Put that net. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, that Where fucking net too. Yeah. There's a hostage. There's a. Raid He's not on a hostage. Net. Did a raid weapon stash. Now well, whatever you feel like. There, there's the hostage. Fucking up this bot, yo. My now, bitch. Wait, seriously? He doesn't drop any parts? Well, that's bullshit. All your buddies just got shotgunned. Oh, not these guys. Damn, she done broke that glass with her fist. Alright, we got a gun. Sub Zero. <laughs> smashy, smashy. Smashy, smash. There you go. One of your part of your contract is done. Right, right, who'd we, we kill? <laughs> you need to kill like eight soldiers. We have. I need to kill eight with a mortar strike. I need five more. I need yeah. five. Oh, the well, Al Qaeda. Yeah, yeah. All oh, you have to do now is your mortar strike. So. And five Shadow Company. I think Shadow Company might be the guys who are hanging around wherever that plane crash thing is. But I'm not sure. I don't know my factions well enough. I don't even know who Shadow Company are. Or if they're good guys or bad guys. Wait, Shadow <laughs> Company? Isn't that a Graves' team? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Honestly, I don't know. Because uh, I, I know Graves turned out to be a backstabbing bitch. Not down enough on my lore. Who the fuck? How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, what's this? Hmm. Ah. Okay, I'm fucking down. God damn it. How far am I from the team? I got pissed off because I was getting crossfired, so I ran into it like an asshole. Oh, the oh. Oh, he's here in an ammo depot. That's good. There we go. Oh, and Pete says it's just a normal priest blessing those guns. Ah. Uh. You see the video of Biden face planting down the stairs of the uh, Air Force One? No. Oh, oh Jesus, what? Oh, I gotta you see this. A good video. Oh, you no. That shit. 
That shit went fucking, dude, I don't even know if I can still find it on Twitter. This motherfucker, I've never seen somebody legit, I mean, I've seen somebody fall down the steps. But this guy legit grabbed the guardrail and literally slid down the motherfucking steps as he was falling. The Secret Service guy couldn't even catch the motherfucker at the end, he was going so fast. This is great shit. Is he dead? No. Is he injured? Fuck, he should be, but... He, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, alcoholics take injury well. Exactly. They're always, they're, they're always loose. Exactly. Yeah. Side, <laughs> oh, shit. Exactly. Oh, but meanwhile, guess guess who appeared in uh, East Palestine, Ohio? Shit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Some the guy. orange man, yeah. Yeah, Trump oh. went there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, shit. So are we allowed to talk about up. that now? What yeah, was that I know, right? Thing? Yeah, it was. Fuck, I'm out of ammo. Oh wait, did I someone, have ammo did, is it true someone got arrested over that? Well, there were apparent I mean, alleged. Uh, there were apparently down. journalists that got arrested for reporting on what happened down there. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's totally that's totally not fucked up because uh, it should be talked about. Because that's a major environmental disaster that happened. What the fuck? Am I... Am I stuck? What the fuck? Why can't uh, I move? So close to the phone. So close to the phone. He's dead. <laughs> Okay, I am so confused. Uh, must be upstairs. Got it. Oh, thank the Lord, baby Jesus. Oh, my God. All right, let's go get this asshole. Agreed. He's going up to the roof. He's not that far either, which is a plus. Come on. Bullshit, what the fuck are you doing, man? Why can't I get over there? Alright, check all your windows. Not seeing any yet, of course. Look out. Check the building structure. I want to see if I can get to the second floor via this building first. Which I probably can. It's good. If he comes over here, he's gonna get his ass fucked up. Forgot this. That's all the windows there are in this fucking thing. That's right. Why the fuck can't I get over there? <gasps> we got oh, to breach this insane. son of a bitch. Do what I did. No, you don't. No, you don't. He's right up here with me. Go to this building next to us and parachute off the roof to where I am. Ooh, or that, or that truck right there. That truck's got a ramp on it, right near Sunny Cat. He's up on the balcony. I already killed the guy in there, too. The hostage and I'm moving. Right behind you. We got gunfire. Go, go, go. I'm right behind you as a shield. 
Sunny Cat, move your ass, homie. Put two proximity mines there. So. <laughs> that one I always I, pick up proximity uh, mines and stow them. We got it. It's like I got something for that ass if you try. Yeah, because there's so many times where it's like I wish I had one and you don't. So pick them up along the way. It's like boom, boom, boom. Please select the desired procedure. Oh, finally, I can create that. Saw and for those of you playing at home, that's why you check the building structure. Because oftentimes, he's not in the fucking building. <laughs> you clear the whole building, and you're like, where is he? Out on the fucking balcony, there's another staircase up to a top penthouse area with one guy in it. That you can shoot through the window. The heck? I broke the machine. <laughs> high is. score. Is, is that bad? Did I break it? <laughs> Did I break it? On high score. It was to me. Uh, events. Okay. Hold on. No, I, back it out. Procedure. I got something out of that shit. At all that. Okay, so I finished the honor part. So I'm done with that. Fuck! No, I'm not. I just need one more operator. God, fuck, man! Come on! You don't need. You only need one or the other. I'm going for know. both because you get a bonus. Might as well. Both. Yeah, you oh, get some. What's yeah, the bonus? You get some I don't know. You have to find out when you're done. Where'd you hear that? It's a thing that they. Somebody put that shit on Twitter on the uh, fucking on their Call of Duty shit. I gotta restore honor two more times. I still don't understand that. Is it just you, you randomly kill? Back. Does that just mean you randomly killed the person that killed you? Yeah, you get your dog pack. Pretty much getting your dog tags back. That's why yesterday I was able to do it, like, because everybody was cool. Uh, that's so tags. random, though. Yeah. Let's see, and then I'm almost at my hundred operator assists. Yeah, operator assists. I only got seven. Like. You gotta do it during quick play. That's the, because it tells you exactly if you look on your events, it'll tell you exactly where you gotta go. Like quick play uh, and then which maps are resurgence. So normal death matches. Yep. I haven't played normal death match in a while. I was playing that shit to keep on uh, defensive kills. I needed. Yeah, that's cause, done. Uh, I need. I need yeah. to revive people in in uh, war zone. Yeah, because uh, I did. did I still, I'm still working on my battle rage, but that's. It's, uh, dude, do you have any kill three operators without dying 25 right, times? I'll be right back. Yes, you have to do it in your quick play. That's the only way you're gonna get it done. Oh, but I. I like got like I said, like look, look on your look on the events. All right, like, yeah, I see it. Okay, and then you go through all of them because because uh, I'm like I killed up, five people earlier and didn't die. What the fuck? Like, you know, notice if you toggle up, it says Warzone 2.0. That's all the resurgence. And then if you toggle up again, it says Modern Warfare 2. That's all your quick play. I got you. When's this next one coming out? In like six Five days. Five days. Yeah, or some shit. Yeah, cause I just got the three operator kills. Pretty soon he's going to have a crossbow. But the only thing I need to do in Resurgence is I need to finish that one more fucking contract of search and, search and seizure, and then I gotta start reviving everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just need to fucking knock out quick play, like, I don't even know, a couple more times to get where I need to be. There should be a challenge to throw back hand grenades, because throwing back hand grenades is fucking awesome. Right? I love when you throw them back and it goes, YOU DROP THIS! Like throwing hand grenades. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, what's, what's... Yeah, you're not supposed to yell it. Yeah, I love that know. when they, I love it when they're like throwing semtex. It's like, why are you that fucking idiot? Are we going to the island or Almazra? I mean, we can hit that island. I just need to hit that contract right, and I'm then back? start reviving. 
Yeah, like I need an A. You fact. and Sunny. <laughs> if we all take a chance so to Should we each just other, go to quads? Yeah, because if we all take a chance and get a chance to revive each other, we can all knock that out real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to complete. I think that's the last I have to do. Oh, no, and then I got. I think I have to do the honor. I need to find get, that Grab locker. your dog tags, like, I think three times or something like that. All right. Name Are you oh, still wait. playing uh, Tower Cart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we... but you know, what? I'm I'm gonna switch over to. Uh, Call what are, of Duty, what are we think. going as? What are, what are we disguising ourselves as? Oh, this is gonna be Sub Zero. What is that under Uni? Yeah. Um, right. I don't even know, dude. I have to look. Hold on. It's under Chew. Oh, it's under Chew. Oh wait, never mind. That's right. Uni's got that one really cool fucking skin. His is red as fuck. Yeah, that's the brand new one that's cool. Uh, it is shiny, ain't it? That mask is fucking... It looks like it's covered in blood. Where the fuck is Chewy? Chewy. Yeah. He's on the top line next to uh, Hutch. Chewy, Chewy, Chewy. Yeah, I'll probably there switch over are. to Call of Duty within like an hour or so. God, I'm really enjoying this game a lot. I just right. got the uh, blueprint for the uh, handgun, so now I've got no, that. I'm starting to upgrade that. You got, I think it's a bought pack. The fuck is my new shit? What I'm using is under uh, the Shinobi pack. I don't even know if they're selling that right now. My fucking bundles, Vive bundles, equip. That was no, that was for Uni. That new thing that was free. That's Uni's. So you want to go all red? Good. Mm, okay. I'm done on that. I just gotta switch this thing. Let me switch out, Uni. Uni! E -e -e -e. That is a sick fucking outfit. Uni is delicious. I kind of want that for. Uh, what is Uni? The, like noodles? Sea urchin. Make... It's sea urchin row. Oh. Mm hmm. I thought, I thought sea urchin. Oh, it's the row. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Sunny, uh, did Sun, does Sunny have the Uni? It's, he's, you could just download it. It's free. Does he have the outfit? Cause if Lindsay's hopping on, I'll wait. I'll take a tinkle. They finally fixed breach and fear. She you said she's yeah, gonna I'm... hop over in like an hour. You know, okay. actually, I think I think I'm gonna go on ahead and um hop over right she now. She said, fuck, like the fuck, fuck the USSR. Fuck the Fuck the USSR. I think the guy about still today. If you wanted to cosplay this, you could do this with probably. Uh... <coughs> it's not free for you. It was free for us. Really, Uni's not for. Oh wow. Xbox troubles. <laughs> but chef, all this armor he's wearing, you can make out of foam from Hobby Lobby. That's true. Or we could all. You all you gotta it. do is spray paint it, and go, well, you want to mold it with hodgepodge. You know what? I'd probably cosplay as Hutch first. <laughs> How are you gonna become a fat bald black man? Fat Dude. suit, homie. <laughs> That's gonna be expensive. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of hours of makeup. Hey, Hollywood. Plus, you'd be one short hutch. Night, night. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Well, that would be creepy as fucking hilarious, though. You'd right, have to wear so a bald.